You want to hear about the sequel to Mega Mind? It's not, called Mega Boot. Not really. And it really fucking sucks. <laughs> Mega Mind sucked. I haven't seen Mega Mind. Yeah, maybe it's, good, maybe it's the greatest film ever, yeah. Paddington Two style. Yeah, <laughs> definitely getting some Paddington points. Anyway, I'll tell you what's not getting Paddington points: Mega fucking boots. This is another prison story. Hit that music! <laughs> So, uh, you know, when you're in prison, you don't have much to do. You just kind of sit around, poke ass, literally sometimes, and uh, watch. And here's the thing. Here's the kicker. If you watch too much in prison, people are going to be like, what you looking at, homie? And then poke your ass. And then they're going to poke your ass. So it's all like this horrible, redundant circle of fucking life where everybody dies at the end, raped anally. But yeah. anyway, when you're not getting raped anally, you do get to see some interesting things. Like um, anal rape. <laughs> like, it, unfortunately, yeah, it's all ass rape. No, but seriously, uh, seriously, there's some fucking ass rape going on there. No, uh, one of the things that I used to like to do on on Saturdays was, uh, you know, the old uh, local churches and and and, and organiza- religious organizations would drop by the old uh, fucking prison and uh, bring their very bizarre form of entertainment over. Uh, you know, which was usually bookended by speeches and sermons and shit that everybody was pretending to listen to and but right in the middle just like i am right now yeah <laughs> exactly the dead i just gave it away but uh no uh right in the middle they would stick like the, these bands you know and sometimes the bands were really good there was there was, there was actually a, a band called uh warriors of the cross if i remember correctly that was really cool you know just a bunch of old school hippies doing their thing you know of course they did the the big this is one thing I hate about Christian music yeah. that, that they do a lot to try to to try to appeal to the youngins oh, is they do Christian cover versions of popular songs. Oh no! And I'm like, oh man, you gotta stop doing that. <laughs> uh, um, there was a what was a, there was a La Bamba one. Oh no! That's like, not even hip anymore. Para la vara Cristo. Oh like, dude! Like don't do that, oh, man. Oh, ripped off my mask. Can't you just make an original fucking song? Please, Woo! it sounds like ass. It's never cool. No, no matter what the subject is, no matter who's doing it, don't do a a, a coy cover version yeah, of something. Dude, freaking kids bop. Yeah, that's, that's some kids bop shit right there. Anyway, they would bring in these bands that were actually practice musicians and did their thing, and they did it well, even when they sang like atrocious cover versions. But uh, every now and then, the prison band would play. And the only reason I would like to look at... I wouldn't go to these events, by the way. I would just look out the window and look at them, and you can hear the music. And uh, I would end up going later. But anyway, that, that's a whole other story. But one of the things I enjoyed about the prison band was definitely not their music, because they fucking sucked. Here's the thing, man. A band is a hard thing to maintain. You got a bunch of big egos. They all think they know the direction of the band. You know, we, we you know, you know the history of music. So, so many bands break up because of this shit. You know, uh, just tons of backstories about inner band feuds well now just imagine a bunch of prisoners making yeah. up that band you know no the feuds usually end in ass rape is yeah, what i'm saying a lot of ass rape tons Let's of just it. say it's it's not trumpets they're playing yeah <laughs> it's ass flutes rusty i don't trombones. know what an ass flute is but <laughs> rusty trombones <laughs> yeah we got a trombone section i like how we can't don't need say a trombone. trombone i'm saying trombone is that how you say it no, it's a trombone. Tron? A rusty whatever. one. Anyway. Anyway, no, yeah, the, the, the they're not good. And the fact that they're always feuding with each other made them even worse. So the band fucking sucked. Yeah. It was terrible. Um, uh, uh, but, but, and here's the kicker here. There was one thing that fascinated me about the prison band. Their bass player. Because their bass player was, was the only guy that seemed like he was just there to play. He didn't give a shit about who thought what song they should play when and how and whatever he didn't give a fuck he just wanted to play that old little bass slapping you know? that bass slapping that bass uh uh, uh what's his name style josh, josh brolin, brolin style. style but uh yeah that's just an excuse to put in josh brolin but anyway tim and i had to we, put in yeah, josh brolin. <laughs> it's worth it <laughs> it is anyway uh this guy that that wasn't what fascinated me fascinated me about the guy what fascinated me fascinated me about the guy was that he had a mega boot. Now, uh, allow me to explain. I'm not. I'm gonna try to be. I'm gonna try to be as gentle as possible. You know, I'm not gonna try to be crude. So I'll just put it this way: the guy had a tiny ass foot. 
<laughs> Correction, a tiny ass leg. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. It's you know fun. what I'm saying? Like, like his leg was short as fuck. Is what I'm saying here. It's like a midget leg on like, a grown, grown ass man. Yeah, like let's say this is this is a pair of legs, right? Yeah. This guy's uh, it was his left leg. This guy's left leg was about that height. Yeah. Like knee height. Like his foot was at the other leg's knee. Yeah. That was a tiny ass fucking leg it's and not... or the other one was the longest leg in existence <laughs> maybe one a, of the two maybe he's a half midget yeah <laughs> but the point is i mean i realize that's i mean he was born that way probably there was some some, some something went wrong in the wiring in, in the womb i don't know what the fuck it's a misfortune that the guy has a tiny ass leg but he has a tiny ass but leg. he has a tiny ass leg you know that's like saying uh that's like me being in front of uh, you and i don't know you and i'm like uh, hey man you're looking pretty svelte there chap Okay, I'm being nice, but really you're a fat lard. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? This guy had a fucking tiny ass leg is what I'm saying here. So anyway, tiny ass leg guy. That, that's not what fascinated me. I, I haven't even gotten to the fascinating portion. What I don't know, fascinated tiny me, ass leg is pretty great. <laughs> what fascinated me was that he had a mega fucking boot. Because you see, in prison, if you have a physical condition that requires some medical attention, they'll ship you off to a medical unit where they assess... Whether you should stay on the medical unit to be tended to all the time, or they can fix it in some way and send you back to your unit. So this guy at some point went to this medical unit. They said, hmm, let me see what you got wrong with you there, old tiny leg. Yep, you got a tiny ass leg. We can fix it. We don't need to keep you here. And the fix for them was to give him a monstrously large fucking boot. Now let me be clear. The, the, the part that you slip... The actual foot and his, his foot was regular size, by the way. So oh, it has tiny shrunken hell? leg with a regular sized foot. Some rat fink looking ass yeah, foot. That's anyway, uh, weird. The, the part where you slip, the part of the shoe where you slip the actual foot in was normal sized. It was the sole that compensated for the lack of leg height or length, I should say. So the sole was easily like two feet Maybe a foot and a half. Maybe yeah, I'm exaggerating. It was two feet. <laughs> I don't know about that. It was in him. Yeah. No, but it was a big ass soul, dude. Like, I was always super envious of... Uh, it's like Frankenstein's uh, freaking uh, shoe? Uh, yeah, Frankenstein's... Mo- if it's the monster, dude. Get it right. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, I was always... Franz... Uh, can- <laughs> Franz Kronstein. I was always fucking super envious of uh, the Frankenstein monster's boots. Yeah. They got the big ass soles and shit. Pretty good. You know, stick a couple of goldfish in there and you're set for the 70s. <laughs> They're timeless is what I'm saying. But these motherfuckers had massive fucking souls, man. And I was like, damn. It made me want to meet another guy whose other leg was tiny. And then convince them to give them to you? Yeah, convince me to give them their mega, give me their mega boots. And I just walk around with fucking mega boots like nine foot tall of like course, a fucking if you, avatar. If you ever trip, you freaking die because you hit your head on, a, on the floor. <laughs> Worth it. Totally worth it. And it's just the top half that falls because I'm assuming the mega boot sole is super heavy. So your 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 feet are the boots are up. Your feet are broken though. You know what? Uh, I eventually. Well, I'll get to that. I'm gonna tell you about the weight of the mega boot. Oh but, uh, man. Anyway, uh, this guy fascinated me, and eventually, after musing on his condition for so long, musing on the boot more specifically, I began to wonder. Wait a minute. This guy's got a short ass leg. He's got to go to the shower sometime. How does the boot situation work there? More importantly, does he have a mega flip flop? God, you know if he because in prison when you go to showers, obviously you can't step on the shower floor. You get yeah. fucking all kinds of illnesses. P.S. Come in your fucking toesies. This guy had to get a fucking flip flop like everybody else did in prison. So I was like, does he get a medical flip flop? Does he have a flip flop that's this fucking high? <laughs> and if so, I want those and I want to dance in them so they could hear it to a fucking Tunguska. <laughs> I don't know, it's far enough, I guess. And, uh, you know, uh, weird event. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe that was the Tunguska sound. Somebody was flipping was, around with their maybe, mega boot flip-flops. Maybe he was born in Tunguska. That explains it. Yeah. I was thinking Chernobyl. But yeah. Like, same <laughs> we'll, shit. We'll roll with it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, this, this, fuck, uh, this just began to plague my mind. Like, how the fuck does this guy go to the shower? I couldn't see him hopping because he wasn't very, uh, you know dexterous with the whole walking thing <laughs> it was the, the little boot the i'm sorry the little leg thing <laughs> really not, really put a, a wrench in his yeah. works so anyway this thing bothered me forever eventually i moved from that dorm to another dorm and in this other dorm i didn't really get to see the guy but i started going more to 
to uh, these, uh, you know, outdoor concerts and shit. And there I got to see him. Then I noticed something one day. Across the dorm from me was another dorm, and there was a guy in there with a mega boot. What? And it wasn't the same guy. And I was like, holy was shit. It just as big? It was big, dude. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it was to the fucking millimeter. <laughs> roughly, was it around the same it size? It was roughly around the same size. It was a mega boot. Now, what are the chances of there being two mega boots? Exactly. What are the, uh, now, forget the boots. That's a pretty good chance. But <laughs> now, what are the chances of two tiny legged fucks being the same unit? You know? Well, yeah, I assume they weren't freaking wearing boots if they weren't had, didn't have tiny legs. <laughs> it's not you. Hey, look, man. This is an industry waiting to happen. But anyway, uh, so yeah, man, the, this guy across the ways was uh, was a mega boot. And uh, <laughs> I was like, this is my fucking chance to find out what the whole shower scenario is like. I need to find out if there's mega flip-flops. One. Two, I need to find out if there's not mega flip-flops, how the shower scenario pans out. So I was really good with a guard there. She was super cool with me. I was super cool with her. And one day I decided to leverage my cool factor with her and, you know, try to find out about the mega boot. So I says to her, I says, uh, hey, you want me to clean outside for you? You know, the guard station and shit. And she's like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. You know, and so I was cleaning and shit. And usually that gets you favors. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, favors. Thankfully not. And usually they from guards, it usually means they give you food, you know, free world food or some shit like that. So she was like, hey, man. You want uh, some grub for the night for your little work? And I was like, you know what? Thank you. I appreciate the offer. But I think, could you do me a tiny favor? Tinier than the grub. Mm. And I'll appreciate it forever. And she's like, "Uh, what's that? Immediately suspect, obviously. Because, you know, fucking criminal. She's like, oh, finally, this guy's true colors are showing. He's going to ask me for something that I don't want to give up. And I says to her, I says, can you let me in to dorm three to ask somebody something? So she says, of course, she has to. She's like, you're not going to go stab someone. I'm like, oh, come on. You know me. And she's like, all right, cool. It's the middle of the night, by the way. <laughs> I just got to clear this up. It's like fucking three in the morning. Yeah. So she buzzes me in. I go in. I find Mega Boot guy. Guess how I found him? His stanky Mega Boot was right there by his fucking thing. <laughs> you can't miss the fucking thing. I wake Mega Boot up. And I go, hey, Mega Boot. I didn't call him that, by the way. I, I said, hey, man. And he's like, oh, you know, what's up? And uh, eventually when he's, you know, you know, <laughs> cognizant enough, I say, uh, hey, I got a question for you. And he's like, uh, yeah, he's expecting something weird to happen here, right? It's prison. And I says to him, I says, do you have like a big ass flip flop to go into the shower? Or how does this boot thing work in the shower? He, uh, you know, kind of chews on that for a good, oh, I don't know, fucking five minutes as he tried to figure out with his fat assholes asking him the shit about his boot. And eventually, he actually answers me. And it was pretty disappointing. I was hoping for a mega flip-flop. But what... I could have told you there wasn't a mega flip-flop. <laughs> I mean, I should have known because I didn't see the mega flip-flop. And let me yeah, tell you... Yeah, where's he going to hide the freaking mega flip-flop? He doesn't have a case for his mega flip-flop. <laughs> he could see these fucking boots like 10 miles away. Yeah. So anyway, the mega flip-flop would have been the same. But the point is, I wanted a mega flip-flop. That's the point here. But I didn't get one... He actually gave me a, a kind of disappointing answer. They gave him bags and he would just put it over his mega boot and uh. go into the shower with the mega boot covered in bags. So I'm like, oh, that sucks. Anyway, I left. <laughs> He's confused as fuck as yeah. to why the fuck this ever happened. And I thought that would be the end well, of my... Why does he wash his freaking tiny foot? That's exactly what I was getting at. I get I get back uh, home, quote unquote, to the bunk. And I'm like, well, at least I can lay that mystery to rest. And then it hits me. Fuck! <laughs> How does he wash his fucking tiny ass foot? Now I got this burden on my back forever. I still never got to answer that question. I can only hope and assume that once he's done showering, he takes off the old bags, throws them away... And since his foot is like virtually sink level. Next to his face. Yeah. <laughs> he just slaps that boy up there and, you know, on a hand washes the foot. I hope. Anyway, that or his foot really fucking stinks. Yeah, I think his foot probably stinks. Anyway, if you've got a tiny foot or I'm sorry, a, a tiny leg. Come on got, the channel. Yeah, come on the channel. Solve this mystery for me. I want to know what the fuck's up. Although I'm pretty sure it's easier in the if, real world. If we can get two people, one with a left foot, one with a right foot. Yes. That are your size. I will buy those boots. Yeah. And I will wear them proudly. 
on video, so you'll never see my face. So unless, it's a win-win. Unless they stink. And <laughs> they will. Yeah. They never wash them feet. Anyway, it's been another weird-ass prison story. It's been a while it's been, since yeah, we told the story. A while. But I figured I'd uh, drag out the old mega boot story. Uh, this is Ahab. That's Goontick. Hit like, share, subscribe, those notifications. Tell me if you got a mega boot, please. Because we're out. This music's too big sounds. I'll count shit for you. Anything goes inside and I don't get the copy of the juice. This music's too big sounds. I'll count shit for you.